gonna be one of my top fave uh, Halloween mannies. I already know it. Alright. It's about to be Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Alright, so. <laughs> this is a very teeny, teeny tiny stash I got of this. <laughs> Ooh, total kelp down. It's a total kelp down. Let's take out. I guess I'm not 100% sure what I've got left in here. Boo crew. It's the boo crew. Let's see. Hey. There's a little one. Perfect. Perfect for your ringy fingy. Save those. Put that there. Ooh, girl, those stripes are so good. Let's see. No, 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 no. There's a big stripey stripe. What does that work on? Middle. Works on your middle finger. Um. I think I'll save these. This is kind of one of those that it's like, it gets harder to come by them. Um, you know, the longer it is past, <laughs> like the, the further you are out from the year they had them, and especially with limited edition stuff. And by limited edition, whoop. Limited edition, I mean like the seasonal Halloween stuff. Um, or Christmas, either one. It just gets harder to... Harder to find them. And this was a 2020. Yes. 2020 set. Alright, let's get them sealed back up right away. And let's also get my two... Two total kelp downs left. I think that both times I've used this. When was this? I feel like 19. No, 2020. Really? Well, it seemed longer than that to me. Maybe one day I'll catch one of these in my D stash again. I mean, on that same note, I don't feel like I have to catch it in D-Stash. These two strips will last me ages because I only use it usually like a singer, a singer, a singer finger, a single finger accent of some sort. And supercharged. I have more of these. I can open another pack if I need to, but... Let's see. I just figured I'd try to use up what I had floating around. Okay, middle and ring. So we need pinky pointer. Oh, and I do need one to cut some stuff out of. This is a, this isn't, I mean, like, two Boo Crew, one Celtic, or Celt Down, three Supercharged, and then I think I'll need, like, two of the, um, this is Sally Hansen, 2010, that color is called, I think, either Groove or Groovy, mm-hmm. I'm not, I'm not sure which one. I looked it up and I can't remember if it was Groove or Groovy. Either way, it's a beauty. Okay, so let's do a couple. 
couple of those for thumbs. I've also got a single teeny tiny um, headstone decal. And then I need to be able to um, do some die cuts. So we'll save a couple of those out. To me, this is the color we're missing. Like this is something, you know, we've not had anything like that. And we need it. It's like that limey, you know, limey green. Because Kilowatt was not limey at all. Like, not at all. Okay. All right. Hopefully everything goes on good because I took out, like, just what I needed, you know? I mean, I can open more sets if I gotta, but I'd rather not have to. And I'm all in. Oh, God. I swear, every time I put Supercharged on, it makes me a believer. <laughs> of purple <laughs> but literally of this color purple like it's just so oh I didn't really mean to nip my actual nail there oh well oh look at it you guys it's gorgeous it is gorgeous okay so things I very well could have added to this for the for the Beetlejuice effect. I could have added um, some little drippy bits. That would have been good. Totally could have added. Oh, what's it called? It's the snake overlay. That would have worked. Oh my god. I just love that. I'm so happy with my nail um, shape and such right now that. Come on, Mulberger. Don't you get sticky on me. Here's the only downside of this entire manicure, you guys. A, I feel like neons never hold up well for me. Um, again, that goes back to that theory that I have that things that have to be very heavily pigmented just end up chipping easier. And also, um, well, come on. Also, glow in the dark feel like they never hold up well for me. And, like, you know, basically, this entire manicure is either neon or glow in the dark. But I do hope it holds up. I have this set up right now so that, in theory, I'm wearing this for f four days. <laughs> Isn't he cute? Uh, I also have a peely base coat on, but it should be fine. As long as I don't, like, break a nail, it's usually fine for me for days. Or as many days as I'm willing to wear a set for, that is. His little face is so cute. It's funny because the last... Wait, what was this year's glow in the dark? Was it ghosts? Why do I feel like we've had two years of ghosts? Okay, and then we're giving him the green hair by using this. 
total countdown. Hang on. Now I have to know what this year's glow in the dark was and why I can't remember. I remember liking it. Um, did I, oh yeah, it was. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was the ghost with the like star strips and stuff. Very good. Very, very good. Yeah, I definitely liked it. Okay, and I'm not going all the way to the base. Like, basically, I'm just giving him his green hair, you guys. Oh, my gourd. And um, I'm going to use CND Top Coat, which should take care of uh, this little line, you know, that I'm making by not putting that all the way down it'll it'll set up fine <laughs> oh my god that's awesome <laughs> okay when you're using these chunky monkey glitters be sure you're nipping and not just pulling also be real careful if you're trying to file one stripey straight finger and this isn't as big of a deal you guys because you can always use between the lines i mean also it sucks because they retired between the lines so not everybody is gonna have like a little mini hoard of that but also i still feel like it's easy enough to find any stylist should have some if they don't hit up the d stash group you can always find between the lines Oh, gorgeous. The The thing about using this strip versus between the lines for me is that then I won't get it, like, crooked. <laughs> Everything I do gets a little crooked. This is an easy mani. I feel like I'm buzzing through it fast. Maybe I'm making that up. such a like just down to the wire fit when I'm putting on two middle fingers with one strip it's like very close but it's still working I think as long as I give them a little like shape up file each week we should be okay for a bit Okay, let me Okay, I don't know if anybody else keeps track of this stuff. So tomorrow is that like pumpkin spice kind of looking release and it's got the crab and crab apple one or maybe cran apple crap now i don't know but you guys know what i mean so since fall release that is the 10th release isn't that mind-blowing like I don't know at what point they're going to step back and slow down a little. But apparently not yet, guys. It's too many. Way too many. And those ones are like... A little too closely resembling stuff we already have. At least in my opinion. But, I mean, I don't know why they can't do even every other week. Why does it got to be every week? I mean, we had Halloween kits and foundation sets. And those were two days in a row. That's ridiculous. And everybody understands and knows that, like, 
the shipping is up because of UPS holiday time. So why make it feel like you're just trying to take advantage of us on the shipping, you know? Most small businesses this time of year, I mean, obviously, they aren't the only ones whose shipping is going up for you guys. It's not like, oh, poor color street. It's just industry-wide human. If you are a human and you are shipping something this time of year, you're going to pay more. Period. Hard stop. So, um, millions of small businesses, like on Etsy and such, just everybody everywhere eats that extra dollar that shipping goes up during holiday season, but girl, Color Street never eats anything. I just have dreams of giving us a little free shipping. Shit. I love free shipping, you guys. And here's the thing, Mars and I have talked about this so many times because we are the same in that, like, if we need to spend 10 more dollars to get free shipping, we do it. <laughs> and I think most people do. And, you know, it's not really free. You're always paying for it, but still. Let us have that game in our head, would ya? Would you fall? Oh, gosh. You guys. Beauties. Okay, I can't wait to do those green thumbs, but first, let's do... A little deco I want I have my little teeny splat out this is punch a bunch I just the splat feels appropriate for him to me pop out of there cute green splat. So cute. Oh, you better stop right now. <gasps> Shut up, you guys. <laughs> I'm so excited. Alright, let me do also. This is a spider. A studio. This is Studio G, sorry. Studio G mini punch. They have a whole line uh, let me see if I can reach my other one that I haven't used yet this year. <clears throat> a little witch. I know they have more than that, but I can't remember. And these are the ones I have out. And I cut this guy as a partial spider. Because I want him to look like he hasn't fully got up on my nail yet. You know what I mean? Somewhere to steady my finger. There we go. Yeah. Oh my god, I love him. Alright, where was the other green? There it is. Let's do, okay, we gotta put, I've only, see, here's the thing, I only have this one headstone, you guys, I don't know why, let's do this thumb quick here, but I only had one headstone, um, I'm sure I could have found, like, another headstone that didn't match this one, but I really liked that one, so it's okay, I'll just use one. That's not a big deal. I'll do two different thumbs and I don't mind that. Oh gosh, that green, you guys. 
it's either groove or groovy but either either way it's a Sally Hansen one and it's good I think these are ones Marie brought me so I could do my Grinch nails this year and then also I think I hit up eBay and ordered a few more because I know this will be a color that I just return to over and over again because it's a color I do wish we had like when they did Kilowatt this is more what I was wishing for you know maybe they need to consider just doing like bold colors instead of doing trying to call them neons The only difference I know in the neons is that they can fade in the sunlight. There. Okay, now let's... Whoop. Take this guy. I know I really mean he's got to be on my thumb because he's pretty good sized. Oh. <laughs> good sized, but good. Super good, super good. Okay, now we've got, let's see here. And we gotta have the little spider because he's a bug eater, you know. Some purple, some green. Let's get other green thumb on and then we'll do some more punches and then Beetlejuice shall be complete okay I gotta do you guys keep like like I keep a little post-it note with a list of sets I'm like searching not like I'm out like everyday searching for them type of search just more of a like oh if I catch this I would like either a I would like one like if I don't have if I haven't had it or B um, I would like another one that type of situation you know and I gotta put um, that Celtic one on there or countdown, total countdown on there. This one is a little dry, this thumb. So I will put heat on it. And I'm not going to pull on it because I don't want to accidentally rip it. You guys know that's the like, that's the thing with these old, old, I mean, and these are you know, like 12 years old, but the heat will take care of it. It'll just save me from getting wrinkly. Beautiful. Okay. Now let's do I love these splats. And I know that now I can clean off my nippers over the edge, but that was the idea. Just to be over the edge. Nip it. Oh my gosh, I love that spider. Okay, so I need another purple spider and some more green. And then I think I'm going to do a couple purple splats for this thumb over here. Oh, you know what I should try? Hang on. Let me reach over here. I just got this, the bigger splat, so let me see what I can do, because that would be super cute on the thumb. I 
so awkward to do it upside down. There we go. Yes. <gasps> you guys, come on. So cute. If I can get it. So like the white backing on there. Okay, let's do this. No, I want it more at an angle. Like, ah, you bugger. Yeah, like that. Oh my goodness, that is adorable. Okay. And then let's do a regular purple splat if we can get one out of here. Sure we can. And all of the edges to clean up there, but for now it's good. Oh. This one I want to make my little buddy crawling straight down if I can. Oh my gosh, why is it so cute? Let's do Okay, this guy's very thin, so I'll have to go easy on him so I don't tear him. Okay, come on, you old bugger. Alright, biscuits. No! Don't be a jerk. I want it to be on the edge there. Oh my gosh, come on now. I kind of love that, like, all the fingers are winding up a little different. I'm actually going to do heat on everything, you guys, in the hopes of... Hopes of, like, settling everything in, except not that piece of fiber that got stuck in with it. I'll trim that bottom, of course. Oh my goodness, yep. Yeah, this is going to be like a top 10 Halloween for me. Okay. Need something here. Oh, we need a couple. Actually, we need a couple green splats. Splat, splat.
All right, total, total countdown and boo crew. I'll add both of those to my list right now. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, and we need one on that guy. Well, that wasn't successful as I wanted it to be. Oh, gosh. <laughs> They're so cute. Okay. Yeah. I love it when you can get, like, that tiny little peak going, you know? Oh, it's so cute. Uh, okay. What else needs a little trim off the skin? teeny bit on that middle one, but not a lot. Oh yeah, you guys. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, these ones I forgot. I'll have to clean up the tips too once I get heat on them. Do I got enough here to do a little I'm going splat crazy right now. Don't try to stop me. Don't try to stop me. I'm into the splats right now. I used to like, I would cut the whole shape and then I'd cut it in half or trim it. And now when I remember, instead I just like, when I punch it, I try to punch it as a partial. It's a good way to use like, all the way to the edge kind of, you know, of your strip that you're using. Don't get too stuck, cold buddy. Oh my gosh, you guys. There we go. Yeah. <coughs> I, oh, I'm a little slash way over the moon. I might do a little something on the edge. Let me see. Anybody right now who's watching and is like, no, stop, stop splatting. Just know that you're wrong. It needs this. It needs this. Stop splatting, Stacy. No. Whoops, sorry. I bumped the camera with my edge of my glasses. Yeah, see how bad that needed it? And it might even need something down here if I figure out what. A little edge splat. I could do a little edge one out of here. With our small one. Yep, that'll probably actually be perfect for it. And if you get a nice straight cut like that on the edge, then it will butt up into your, you know, the edge of your nail perfectly. And you won't have to try to clean that up. Because as we know, that's a pain in the butt. Look at that.
Look at it, you guys. It's so good. I got so much garbage hanging off these thumbs over here. Okay. <laughs> Top. This has got to be... Gosh, this might be my favorite Halloween I've ever done, you guys. I stink and love it. Alright, let me know what you think. This is going to go as top three Halloween set ever. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Have a good one, friends. See you soon. Ooh, this is Halloween 7. In the books. <laughs>